Hey, today I'm going to uh, go through a scatter plot with marginal plots of the distributions of the x and the y data. All right, so I'm going to put a scatter plot is going to be the main plot, and then at the top of the graph, I'm going to have a uh, a histogram and a density plot of the x data, and then on the side of the plot, I'm going to have the same thing for the y. So I'm going to be using the um, I pulled in Tidyverse, I really just need ggplot and ggextra libraries for this. I'm just gonna pull this uh, MPG data that kind of comes packaged with ggplot uh, for this particular um, video, just because it's an easy data set to get hold of. All right, if you've got ggplot, you can call in that data very easily. I'm gonna plot uh, the CTY and HWY. This is miles per gallon for each of these cars on the city and highway. And then we're gonna plot those next to each other. So this is gonna be a quick video. We'll do ggplot, my data. And we're gonna plot the city on the X and on the Y we're going to plot the highway. And let's just do this quickly. We'll call in geome point and we'll do black and white theme for right now see there you have it there's one plot now you'll see this has got 234 rows of data there are very clearly not 234 data points here that's because some of those data points are overlapping uh, so one way to take care of this is instead of geom point to call geom jitter and now you can see that they're starting to show up. Another interesting way to look at this kind of data is, I know this is a little bit beside the point for the marginal plots, but uh, another way to look at something like this is to use geom count, which will actually resize the dots whenever there's an overlapping. It's kind of up to you whether or not you like this. Visually, it looks cool because it's a little different, but it's still kind of hard to gauge uh, the differences in size between here. So if you need to know exactly how many are in there, it could be a little difficult. But if we go back to jitter, it's also kind of difficult. So really up to you uh, how you want to do that. Let's stick with jitter for right now. Okay, so then we can do some other things here, right? So we can change our Y and X labels really quickly just because those are kind of annoying me. So the Y label is highway mileage. This is in miles per gallon. And the X label is in city mileage, also in miles per gallon. And now let's get to the, the, uh, the marginal plots. So to do this, we're just gonna call in this thing GG marginal. And we are going to say, we actually need to assign our GG plot to a variable. So we're gonna say my plot and now when we run that, instead of showing it over here, it's just gonna store all of that information in my plot, which is up here now. And then in GG marginal, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call in my plot, and then we are going to give this a type, and we're gonna start with our histogram. And then you can do all of the other things that you could typically do, right? So you could give it a fill. Let's call it, let's, let's do a you know, blue fill with a white outline and let's make it a little transparent by calling it alpha of 0 0.5. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And there you have it, right? Now you've got your histograms and the margins, which is pretty cool. All right, and then if we really wanted to make this look better, we could call, also come up here and say, we wanna color these blue. Actually, let's do this. Let's do fill blue. Let's do shape of 21 and then let's color them so this is the outline color white and let's also make these transparent so that will make this a little bit easier to look at here yeah so there you have it and you can increase the size of these points There you go. See, starting to look pretty nice. Now let's change up the GG marginal a little bit. Let's go from histogram. Let's do a density and see what that looks like. Oop, there's our density. 
See, that's pretty nice. You get out this, now you can kind of see there's a bimodal distribution in highway mileage. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can call box plot. So let's do that. Uh, it looks a little strange. Oh, because the color is white. Let's change color here to black so we can actually see the lines for the box plot. See, there you have it. You can see these outliers up here on the scatter plot match the outliers on the box plots there. But I like the, uh, I like the histograms the most, so we'll stick with histogram. But yeah, it's a pretty simple, easy way to uh, to put these marginal plots in here. So hope you enjoyed this. If you did, um, like, leave a comment, subscribe. And my dog's going crazy. Um, but yeah, and then check me out on all my social medias, which will be linked in the description. All right, bye.